Hi, I'm Lee Ji Won, and I'm here to bring you the latest on the PyeongChang 2018 Winter Paralympics. It's day four of the games, and Team Korea had a number of exciting moments today. Team Korea's wheelchair curling got back to winning ways on Tuesday morning against Finland. South Korea had strong performances in the first, fifth, and seventh ends, finishing the game 11-3. That victory was Team Korea's fifth win so far after it previously beat the USA, Slovakia, Canada and the neutral Paralympic athletes from Russia. Team Korea's only defeat so far at the Paralympics came in Monday, Monday night's match against Germany where they lost 4-3. But even so, South Korea is still in a good position to make the semi-finals. The men's 12.5-kilometer sitting biathlon race was held earlier in the day, where Shin Hyun's hunt for medals continued. But Shin finished in fifth place with a time of 50 minutes, 1.09 seconds. Shin was fast, but after missing four of the five targets in the second round of shooting, he lost focus. Yi Jung-min, who was also in contention, finished ninth, recording a time of 51 minutes, 51.5 seconds. Some more disappointing news for Team Korea. The previously undefeated para ice hockey team lost their final group stage match to the USA, which stands at the top of Group B undefeated. As one of the most offensive teams, the U.S. was aggressive from the start, scoring six points in period one alone, adding two more points in the third period. The U.S. took the game by eight to nothing. But still, the good news is that Team Korea taking, uh, taking second place in the group has advanced to the semifinals for the first time in Paralympic history. Ranking third in the world, Team Korea will play against world number one Canada on Thursday. Let's now look at some of the standout events for the rest of today and for tomorrow. Korea's wheelchair curlers have their seventh pre preliminary round match against Switzerland in, ab in about an hour and a half. Though Korea has lost one match, it is still tied with China at the top of the round-robin group. And the medal rounds for the men's and women's alpine skiing giant slalom will take place Wednesday morning uh, with the cross-country skiers hunt, hunt for medals also beginning from early morning tomorrow with qualification rounds starting at 10 o'clock. Six South Korean skiers will participate including Shin Hyun and Lee do -yeon. North Korea's Ma Yu Chol and Kim Jong Hyun will also have their final appearance in the men's 1.1 kilometer sitting sprint before returning to the North on Thursday. That's it from me for now, but I'll be back with more updates on the Paralympic Games in our next newscast. With that, let's look at the medal table as of 5.30 p.m. Korea time.